LPS Patchwork Productions here. This video is a request, and this video is by far one of my favorite requests because I've been like waiting for forever to make one of these videos. I do want to give some credit to my froggy stuff because she did impact me on how I made this DIY. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the DIY. This is what the room, set, or scene will look like. Those are just a couple of things that this room that I'm going to be showing you how to make right now can do. Materials you'll be needing are a flat hard surface. This can range from a desk like this, a plank of wood, the floor, or even a wooden box like this. Largest cardboard box that when you put it on its side like it is right now, it's the height of what you want your room to be. Scissors, a glue stick or Mod Podge, Make sure to not use a hot glue gun because that can make bumps in your scene. If you don't have or you don't want to use a glue stick or Mod Podge, you could use clear tape, but make sure it's clear. Any type of paper from, you know, printer paper, construction paper, scrapbooking paper, cardstock, all those other styles of paper. But you could also use duct tape. First figure out how you want to open up your scene. You could either open up your scene like this, so the length of your scene is longer, but the height of your scene is shorter. Or you could either open it up like this. So the length of your scene is shorter, but the height of your scene is taller. Here's a little diagram if you didn't get that. I chose to do it this way. If you're going to do it the way I prefer, first make sure one of the ends are closed. Since both of mine are open, I'm gonna close mine up and secure it with strong tape. I'm using duct tape. Now open up the side tab. If your box does not have a side tab, just cut it open very neatly. Now go to the other side of your box and cut down the corner very neatly. Once everything is open, it should look something like this. If you are like me and you had to tape one of the ends closed, you might be seeing this little tab be sticking up. All you need to do is tape it down. Now very neatly cut the excess tabs off. It should now look something like this. If you see there are any little gaps, don't worry because when you cover it with paper, you won't be able to see them. Now you can cover your box in practically whatever way you want with paper. Here are some ideas for school locker scene. Tape more boxes together and then cover it in paper with lockers on it or printed paper with lockers. Another idea is to cover a small portion of the bottom of your scene with a fancy colored paper and the other top portion white. You can make it plain. Collage ripped up construction paper. If you're the type of person that does not have scrapping paper, I suggest cutting up little pieces of construction paper like strips or designs like diamonds and stuff like that and gluing them onto your box or another piece of paper then gluing it onto your box. Remember, you could also just cover the whole thing in duct tape. After you glued some paper on, try bending the creases and fixing any little things that aren't perfect. As you can see, it gets to, starts to get wrinkly, so I can flatten it out. I'm putting on my paper, standing up the scene, so it can cover in any little gaps. Instead of using glue to put your paper onto your scene, you could use clear tape. This is my finished scene. Now that we have the walls, we need a floor. You could either use the floor you already have, or put your scene on top of another piece of paper. Add your furniture, and you're done. Once you know how to make a basic scene box, try to get more wild and creative. Here are some examples. For an outdoor scene, use sky blue paper, then use some outdoor flooring, like 
fall leaves, grass, concrete, and more. For a city, draw or print a city background. And for the floor, use gray and black paper, one for the concrete and one for the street. If you want to make a quick and temporary scene, find a wall, put down the paper for the floor, put another piece of paper behind the flooring on the wall, and use tape or tack to secure it into place. Add your furniture, and you're done. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for even more cool DIYs, or leave a positive comment suggesting what I should do in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye!